I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg, so be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. Sen has nothing He's going for it except for Sagas plus Sentinel on the play. This is a hand that is very good against Merktide. It's really bad against many other decks. Well, it's not really good against Merktide, but it's good against Merktide game one. It's, it's probably wins against Merktide like a high percentage of the time. Let's keep just solely on the basis of the Sagas and that fact that we have Sentinel on the play with Mool on the draw for sure. FX Bird, thank you very much for your Prime subscription. Good versus Fossies too. Yeah, imagine that my opponent goes Grief and Combat Trick, and I'm like, yeah. So what, bro? Hopefully we don't get scammed. I mean, hopefully I do get scammed. This is not a good hand against Yogmo. It's good though because I I was editing the the Hammergate video and I was lacking footage for Yog against Yogmov, so I now have some footage versus Yogmov in this match. Very convenient. Thank you. I hope I play against Amulet next and I'll see other match I was lacking. Young Wolf. But yeah, my my I attack because a life life on the young wolf matters still. Even if the young moth. I don't think we beat this guy here though. Oh yeah, yeah caramba. Three other boar. I can't win. Smiley face, you can't win, yeah. Or these are the worst we scammed by, why? I'll just concede because I can't win, so. Serious Salvation good against Force of Vigor. Bro, we can Esper Sentinel over Memnite Evil. How many marches we gonna have? Like two, maybe. Gonna have Memnite for the drum tapping. Hallowed Moonlight would have been so good. Literally would have done nothing this game. Literally would have done zero. Right, so you're gonna uh, mulligan aggressively. This hand doesn't have a creature, doesn't have a hammer, so unless the top deck Stoneforge Mystic is not good, and even if it does, it's not so great. Well, this one just really wants to top deck a land, but I think it's worth it. And I lead on Giver of Runes. The match up is just Pierdolnięcie. No, ta ręka to ma Pierdolnięcie, wydaje mi się, jak dobiorę Londa. Kill that goose! It always surprises me when people play that. Alright, so Force of Vigor is unfair. So let's say I attack. If they play Greased, kill goose to kill my guy after I attack them for 10. It's not trivial, but it's okay. Could Stoneforge for Kaldra instead and have it protected and that goes around all of their interaction and then Kaldra attacks once and then Kaldra attacks twice with Sigurd as aids Colossus Hammer and we have Blacksmith skill to protect. Yeah that seems better, getting Kaldra seems better here. They just don't have don't have anything to interrupt that play really and 
unless they develop super fast and like combo kill me beforehand, which seems unlikely, then I'm gonna be in a great spot. Because going to get us 8 hammer gets punished by both Greased and Fossil Vigor, so just kinda easy to get punished. <laughs> Does Yog play Might? Hmm. They might play Might. I don't know if they play that often though, I don't think so. Guys, Wallal. Well, that's good development, but. Hmm. Okay, no need to play out anything to make it vulnerable. This turn, we just put Caldra and attack for 5. Hmm. I don't think I need to play out a Sigarda Zaid. Or that is particularly beneficial. Could Yog move and target some stuff? Blacksmith skill can interfere. Like the goose is not even a dork right now, so they only have three mana now. They can play a land and have four mana, so they can't really do that much. They would need an Eldritch Evolution, yeah, to get Jog move. They play land, they didn't, right? It's turn three, they have two lands, okay. So they could have three, four, five. It's fine. I don't think I need to use my skill. Was it worth targeting guys with blacksmith skill just yet? Hmm. Unlucky. I don't think so. I mean, it doesn't even work, so. It would gain hexproof, so they can still target it with their own ability. So I know it was not worth it. It's like Vines of Vastwood against Creativity, but that's different. So now they Court of Calling, they can they can Court of Calling in my turn and gain, uh, gain the Blood Artist and kill me. Turn 3, damn. But I need to find Court of Calling and 10 more cards. 9 more cards. Because if they have one life, they can't perform that anymore. You could also deny them a draw with this, but they're gonna draw so much, they probably want the blacksmith skill to actually kill with the... Barracks and get them? Uh, maybe they'll draw artist before they draw Chord. Yeah, maybe. Right, now they have two guys with a counter on them, that's fine. They pass. I mean, maybe they misclicked. My hope. Yeah, I was just banning the person in the chat. Yeah. Sure. I think they misclick their monsters because they ended up with two creatures with a counter which they shouldn't have. Why well, did not play their outs? Well, I mean, I don't know. Well, again, I'm thinking that they misclick because that would be a plausible explanation to me. I want two marches. I don't want, don't want more because it's so hard for this card to actually be good. It's inefficient, it deals with creatures at mana at disadvantage, and I have the disadvantage of being on a draw already. So this sideboarding is perfect. We have two hammers and an ink moth that easily kills them, and this can deal with yog moth. Perfect hand. Almost. Uh, well, we don't have hammers. So we kinda go Memnite, Memnite, Pure Steel. So kinda don't do anything. I think I move to 5. I think I would prefer to go for a... Something stronger. Okay. Like this. Dry 0, hand is actually... Okay. We draw a drum instead, well... Almost. 
play the drum because I need to draw a creature anyway, so might just play a drum on turn one. Hammer gods are not with you this morning. It's because I actually I hold atheistic beliefs and I just think I it's it's how it is. You either draw or you don't. I wear might a curva. 50-50 you draw or you don't. Yeah, people like to say that. Should have kept fair drum so we can go rock band game plan. Yeah. Well, Hapatra puts a counter on herself to make a snake. Ironic. Cool. I can't quite play the cigar does it because of the might in play, so I have to pass and hope my opponent doesn't use their cards. We start on the battlefield. Let's me get them in some tricky tricky way. Ayla Ayla Kotek. No Kotek, she said Kotek. Baila Ela, baila, baila Ela. Dupka. Shukami after a baila Ela, baila, baila Ela. Si, si. No, my drumster. Right, they literally never draw an undying creature, then maybe they drew an undying creature, which I guess invalidates my previous previous concern. Wow, 26 minutes, only two more matches in progress. Nie czaję, czemu ludzie chcą grać Manodajkami w modernie. Jeden dobry mecz, aby trafił na niego. No trafił, trafił akurat. Manodajki dobre są na mojego deka. Jakbyś miał zrobić listę top 10 manodajek w modernie Zerg. To jak byś nazwał? Also I ignore the comment from Zerg about the top manodajkis in modern. My number one DRS, number two Ragavan, number three Utopia Sprawl. Damn, that's a controversial opinion to rank DRS before Ragavan. Bro, so I can imagine that one of my cards is a drum and then this hand is so nice. That's so fucking bad without it. Maybe I keep it still and I go Urza Saga on turn one and then make a drum on turn three. That's not good. That's a bit too slow. How many white sources do we have to top deck? We've got uh, hammer search. So we've got 22 lands, seven of which are not. We got 20, we got 19 white sources. <sighs> test, test. Bro, I'm thinking about my hand. I'm already moved to six. Spoon bag on it up there. Because uh, Fragavan is scared. Okay, I don't really mind keeping this hand against them. I mean, it's not good, but. You know, if we draw, you can go land and saga and you can make the saga constructs. The saga constructs are always very good against their deck. If they are a skilled player, they will discard Memnite. Why did you capitalize Memnite though? Stoneforge Mystic? Oh, opponent's skill less. Let's go planes. Thanks. So is it Sentinel or is it Sigarda's aid on turn one? For two they have probably this not to get it discarded. On two they often play play two drop, right? It's like better against Fury and better against this card, further this card. 
to play out the aid, especially since I, I go Saga on the next turn, right? And then like we have Sigarda's aid fetching a hammer, which is gonna like, auto equip. Oh, it's giant. Better union, so that's creativity. Seems like it's not scam. Okay, did change Yatora, that's not very threatening. Three different decks in two turns. <laughs> Yeah, opponent is changing their colors, changing their identity with every movement, but they go to 11 life, so every Memnite hit is lethal now. I really like the song that we're listening to right now. I think I uh, know it from somebody requesting it. So some, sometimes people ask me, have you, have you heard any music that you enjoy thanks to the stream? And I say, actually... But I can't tell any, like, can't say any specific titles or artists. But this one I like. I like how the saxophone goes. Song request Suhe Karaluch. No, and then we have Suhe Karaluch, which is also a good experience in some ways. The listening of that to that song is Mem Knight solely winning the game. Like I've said, if they were a skilled player, honestly, if I had a Stoneforge Mystic, that would have been much better for me. I think it's a trumpet. Yeah, that actually sounds more like a trumpet. To play an Archon, then you can make them chum block, but it's kind of spooky. What the heck? Oh no. Oh no. That's the wrong creature. Can, can I kill my Saga gain 5 or make Rhino? Has reached too. Caramba. Got me so good with the Titan of Industry, damn. I, I've seen that list, like had 4 Archon, 2 Titan, right? And had Ren too. Wait, you kill 8? What if I draw? Not Saga? That seems... That seems worse. Actually worse than Archon. Well, if it killed Saga, it would be better than Archon in this spot. Killing Gate is still plenty good, I guess. If I play any instruments, I... I have a guitar, but I don't really play it. I tried playing it earlier in my life, but I never had the patience to come good and I was listening to prog metal back then almost exclusively and I was trying to uh, play it nicely but I couldn't and that let me frustrated can make construct and PLA pure steel move to the construct attack them they chum block with the titan then they resist it back and I die I remember first time I watched the stream, you had Gethry Govan music in the background. Bro, I don't know who's Gethry Govan. It was probably a Spotify playlist or a song request. You sure has guitar. One of those Steve A type guys. Yeah, well, those I don't like that much. You can make them chum block with this if we attack with Venkman, if we don't make a con construct. Can we have like one stream of your Spotify's Ulubi on a playlist? If you if you came to this stream four years ago, then you would have. But you're four four years too late, Zerk. Could have attacked with 11 11 Mem Knight and this 5 5, but then it's not a good attack. We can move because it's fine actually. It has 4 damage marked, but 5 toughness. Could move to Paladin. I could, but then, like, if they kill my Paladin, then. Why not move to a blocker? Well, I probably should have left Mem Knight untapped. 
but I, it's, I want to move to Memnite so they can't kill a creature with this. And I don't want it, don't want the hammer, don't want the hammer to be on Paladin because they might have just Paladin removal. Like I don't think this deck is above playing Terminate or something like that. All right, that's not really a sign of strength. And I mean, they're not gonna attack me. Anyways, they they are clearly defending. And if they attack me, I'll just take it because like the game needs to end. But it would have been better to have tapped the construct to the drum and have an untapped 11-11 Memnite now, I agree. Oh, wow. That's all? Okay. Yeah, they all have to jump with all three. Can I, and I can also deal two damage. So if I activate Ink Moth, move Hammer, I can deal three damage to Ren and make them jump with all three. Kills of the Ren. Could also put them to three. The Ren could ping my Mem Knight, so it's probably better to kill Ren. Then I ha will have the choice of moving the Hammer from Ink Moth or not, which is gonna kill my Ink Moth. Hmm, tricky. It seems good, like if their last turn was like this, they clearly need to flip something with this. Ren is under Dwarf and Mine, right? I mean, they already returned... 1, minus 1, 2... They already returned 2 lands, so... It, made, it might make it easier for them to, to do stuff. But like they almost assuredly have a fetch in hand, but you know, we don't, they maybe they don't have free, and then it actually makes a difference for their fable. This goes face, this goes face, this goes face, this goes ren, this goes ren. Okay, and now the decision with the ink moth. I don't know, like it's valuable to have the ink moth. We didn't kill the paladin. The constructs are gonna be lethal alone, no need to equipping. So I think we pass. They didn't kill the Paladin last turn. They might kill it this turn. If they get an Archon into play, we sacrifice, well, Memnite. I was leaving the Hammer on Memnite, attacking them with Memnite and Constructs and the rest at the end better. Well, then they block a Construct with a 7-7. Seven, seven. So it seems worse. Because their 7-7 seven, seven lives and my 7-7 seven, seven notably reach lives and my Construct dies, so... I get to keep my hammer equipped, but also I lose the construct and they gain a 7-7, so pretty big swing. Need reanimate Archon plus creativity. I think just reanimate Archon is solid though with Bitter Union. Or just creativity is solid with Bitter Union. Yeah, that's nice. If you play drum, then I mean, so they trade. Hmm, interesting. I could have activated the Ink Moth, ouch. Is that a difference? Actually, difference. I, yeah, 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 I, I talked and I now need to top deck. Because we are one off instead of having exact lethal. We should have animated Ink Moth and sacrificed Ink Moth. Okay, get a lucky then good, but oof. I was about to be, to be a tilted one. We ripped, but we didn't need to put ourselves in a spot to rip. I was F6, but uh, if I un F6, we could have tapped the newly untapped Ornithopter to the drum. Well, newly produced Ornithopter to the drum. Is their version of the deck, Sanctifier on the back is kind of okay, but they also have, have green creatures. I don't see where it mattered. Well, if I sacrifice... Ink Moth instead of Memnite. I have Memnite that deals one extra mole damage, right? So I have 11, exactly. Yeah, and Ink Moth doesn't deal life point damage. Well, let's board the Orvars, but they could always get me by hitting the correct one. Correct monster. Let's reduce the amount of Memnites. Let's play Blacksmith skill. I wonder if they can just board out all Archons and clone my... Orvar. Are Sanctifiers overboarding regarding Persist? Well, I'm considering the 
the sanctifiers, like two copies of sanctifiers, and it's kind of close, it's kind of overboarding. Spiffing Needle for Ren, good. I never had it be particularly good. Like, you can name Ren or Boseju, but it just never comes up to me that I want to get it off the saga. Just kind of have to fight through the Ren manually. I played as a guy that bought out all Archons and just had free Seras Emissary. Yeah, I played against a guy like that too in Prague. People do that sometimes. So I have two Sanctifiers. You're gonna cut a Spring Leaf Drum. Maybe an extra Orithopter, YOLO. Eh, I don't love that, like, little zero drops, too many two drops. We can cut maybe a uh, combat trick instead, or a giver. Let's do a giver. Sanctifier, kind of similar role. Well, we have drum, drum, drum. We have Orithopter at least. But we can equip the hammer, we can protect the Ornithopter, but that does not seem to accomplish anything. I think I will go deeper looking for a hand that's gonna be better. Hmm, this one is a 6 already, I don't love it. Put back Caldrona. Go Sentinel to Sanctifier. Do you have a Surge of Salvation? We have a Surge of Salvation to protect a little bit. Let's keep. We like cutting zeros because most of the creativity lists wish to two free that Sugu to fight hammer slash rhinos. I don't know if that's true, but if I were to trust you, then that's kind of valid. But also, not fully because you still need to go fast to beat them. If you reconstruct your deck in a way where you don't lose if they have that Sugu, but you just lose period, then that you haven't actually accomplished anything. You just made yourself not lose to that Sugu, but you did not make yourself win. That's a danger of a plan like that, I feel like. Although certainly there is some validity. But the Sanctifier is also nicer against a version like my opponents, where they just won't have removal for it. So it's actually hard to block, hard to kill. If they play Leyline Binding to Fairy, then I don't I'm not interested in a two mana two two. Mm. Well I'll attack Renski. Play Ink Mofsky. I don't think I play as per Sentinel. It doesn't accomplish anything. Good draws. We have drawn planes, 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 and Esper Sentinel so far, right? Or did we draw Ink Bomb Nexus? So yeah, not so good, but could be worse. Sentinel doesn't do anything anymore, so let's just let that happen. No attack. Could attack them for poison, but I don't think it's worth it, and if they kill it... I mean, I have two, so technically you can poison them, but if I... Hmm. Uh, yeah, it may... Maybe it makes a difference, but I think if I lose my lands, then... Kinda... Kinda worse off, because probably I will not win with the poison damage. And that will just give them an option to... Fry my land with an effect. I might want to have two in play, too, if they... If they do some stuff like... Uh, Casting a big creativity and then I kill them with when I top deck cigar does it, I go attack with both. We have a surge of salvation so we can withstand an entire turn of Archon of Cruelty triggers and attacks, so that's fine. Hmm. Well they have a removal. Okay. So what now? How do we do it now? Handy for work? What's a handy? I could go Paladin and draw, try to draw with the hammer. I think that's unlikely to be successful. Activate Ink Moth, play Hammer, play Paladin, activate second Ink Moth. I can keep up Surge of Salvation and attack with an Ink Moth on this turn anyways. I think I might just want to pass. Next time we can equip the Hammer to the Sanctifier for lethal too. More mana, like maybe they go for a... 
Yeah, I think we go face and then we try to kill with Sanctifier. The Archons is 18 damage, so I can take that. They just attack me. Ktonie Rucha to nie gay, wow. Yeah, Set of Salvation blanks the ETB and attack triggers for a turn. Suhego Karalucha. Jak Buka Paryska. Well, let's try. Karalucha is La Cucaracha. I don't know what's La Cucaracha. Cockroach? A ja jestem sucha. Jak Buka Paryska. Or is it gonna have Bosedju? Claim. Well, they have a second one. No? Is that it? Yeah, I guess the giant versions of Creativity Sanctifier actually is pretty neat because Unkillable and Blockable actually does matter. I see cartoon Ogi I lost Karaluchy Exist in Poland. Doesn't ring a bell. Ogi I lost Kara. So today is the prelim and a draft and then maybe another draft. Hmm. Well, I discard Elash. I discard Elash. Have I tried the new Pioneer Rolla combo? I have not played, played that. Discard Sword. Well, Sword I can play and just like attack them with monsters that are big. Like with equip the dinosaur and just get like for 10 damage with a single attack. They trade half their bow. They trade like lots of creatures. And then I finish them with this with a sword. 4-5. Vigilance, Trample. Like Elish, no, I need both the second planes and three more lands. And I already have a 6 mana bomb in hand. Oh wow, we play against Baron. That's crazy. But yeah, I do not plan to engage with more arena on stream. Standard on model is backed and nobody plays it. Yeah, I don't play it on model either. Just play a little bit against teammates after streams instead. This might be a Shadow Spear angle. Honestly. And single attack with hammer doesn't seem to accomplish much. In what way is standard on mod is bugged though? What do you mean? Can't find a game? Oh yeah, that way. Yeah, it's bugged. They can make a 4-4. Four, four. Hmm. It would be bad if they killed Tetsuko. Spike, let me draw. Alright, take damage, I guess. Maybe shouldn't take damage. I will end of turn and use this. I don't want to use it immediately. Double bolt dead, okay. So what? Standard is pretty nice now. It's standard is just a formal like it's not it's never actually been bad. It's been a It's always been a bit of a meme that people said it was bad, but it was not actually like that. This format is just cards. You play cards, it's fine. What's not fine is, is getting to play it. That's a bit hard. Imagine Ultimatum Stunner was horrid in your opinion. And yeah, that's your opinion and... 
You are just incorrect. When you spend 250 on a place of Ura and get spent the week after, yeah, that's bad, yeah. Well, that I, I view that as connected to the logistics of the game rather than, than the game itself, though. Which I separate. Of course, in real life, you're like, you can't really separate that, so I guess many people conflate those two. Equip Paladin as a free free lifelinker, but I'd rather have a bad card equipped with a Shadow Spear. We keep six to be able to convoke Shatter the Source. I haven't drafted this card much. Is it actually very good? Is it just a very good removal spell? It seems pretty okay. Like six mana convoke. Well, not always trivial to cast, but six mana instant deal six is a lot. Basically terminate and then it just kind of gets ends up being murder often enough probably And you can synergize further to make it cheaper I think I'm gonna shatter the 4-4 for mana Then if we draw Chandra we can kill two guys Nice expedition lookout, 8 cards map points graveyard really soon Shatter is a very good card and everyone should play it, I pick it first. I have a high win rate limit at 51%. Good win rate. 21%. It's close to mine. Kicked. Minus 6, minus 6 on my guy. Can I save it? I can't. Well... So I don't really care for the lookout. It's a limited rating. Well, I can check. 1876. Not bad. But I only played league drafts so far. I'll loot. I don't want the lookout. I would like a 6 land. The secret to mom limited is to pick all printing champions. I kind of rarely pick it. Not out of the lack of wanting, but people just pick it before I do. Caldra seems relevant. There is a Salvation actually counters uh, Deflecting Palm, that's nice, right? Because Deflecting Palm is the one dealing damage, so you prevent the damage. Don't care for Sanctifiers. Yeah, we just keep it this way. Against Burn. In this one it's basically soloing for blue decks. Maybe that means I pick it too lowly. I'll try to keep an eye on that. Don't mind trading a 4 5, a 1 4 versus 4 a 1 3 cell block. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I mean, I have a legendary and a non legendary. That's honestly fine. Oh no, choose one or both? What? One or both? Wow. Well, good to learn about that, but we can just play Chandra on the next turn. I mean, good to learn. So, plus one, excel top five, then I might cast one until the end of my next turn. So, we're gonna Chandra and plus one. Shouldn't have looted a spell. We have a draw two, which is gonna be a draw four. Yeah, that's good. You said something about search countering palm. How does it do that? Well, let's read the palm. I'm not entirely sure on the palm stacks of the top of my head. And I don't want to pull out a Batutinha. The next time a source would deal prevent the damage. If damage is prevented that way, the flatting palm deals that much damage to that source's controller. Prevent all damage that black or red sources would deal to creatures you control the stair. It does not actually counter palm. Unfortunately, because Stare of Salvation only prevents the damage that was about to be dealt to your creatures. Palm gets around the X-proof, I know that, that was just a prevention, but I forgot uh, like what exactly the prevention applies to. But I was quickly corrected by Vigilant Witch Chatters. 
play 6-5. Hmm. Could kill the 6-5 and go 5 phase. Draw 4. Keep up ultimate essence times 2. Alternatively, I could make 2 mana. So I think we draw 2 first. And by draw 2, I mean draw 4. I don't 2 plus 1 shana to excel top 5, I already have like 10 cards in my deck, that's so few. And looking good. Point sitting blood at my Esper Senti now. Impressive. While we drew under Surge of Salvation. Guida. It's possible I shouldn't have played the Saga yet. So I'm not sure if I actually want to... Maybe I want to equip Shadow Spear to Memnite attack. Oh yeah, we'll make a construct there. We should probably... We should be okay. We should like grace them. Then, even if they kill my Shadow Spear with a... Destroy artifact effect. Chandra's mana can be spent to cast anything too. Dina, I don't care about Dina. Lurus of the Dream then. That seems worth countering. We also let it happen and then go Nahiri's Warcrafting their two creatures. Although they have the Dina and then they would like do some stuff, which would be... I mean, I don't think it matters, really. I have no cards in hand. It's at two mana. I know, red, red. Future Alist. Surveyor. Oops, I missed an attack with Memnite out of all of this. I think Nahiri's, Nahiri's Warcrafting is a bit bugged on Modo because you actually end up drawing the cards that you put back. That Black Green 1 3 seems pretty bad, yeah. She doesn't really do too much. It's like a 1 3 with two lines of text, but like none of them actually matter. What are you casting? 6 mana. Oh, well. I guess we keep on playing. I mean, no, I mean, it's free Chandra on face, but. Do I have to have two tar targets? Up to two targets? I don't. You can draw a game with Chandra, actually. So my opponent is semi. not particularly aggressive. Two damage to each creature didn't seem great, but seems not so bad either. Alright, I'll just negate. They had mere repurposing. Yeah, into the fire, good against Lurus. Change the equation, not really. So I think I'll keep it the way it is. I have the invasion and repurposing, so maybe I will negate. Two six drop spells. That's kind of a good reason to negate. So maybe they're not like aggro enough for me to play expedition lookout. I might play negate against them. Let's do that. They had a free one. 
which have the Rouse reinforcements for and the Furtive Analysts. My sand, we can get a planes and have additional mana. Keeping my opponent waiting to smack them with the constructs here, unfortunately. So have one card in hand. I can make a construct. I don't think it matters. Let's get the old border spring leap drum. Play planes. Attack them for one with Memnite. Next turn attack them with the uh, I guess we can play around palm and equip the smaller creatures, maybe. To prevent a huge blowout. From the poem to so this canters the school crack so the prevention doesn't kick in it's fine if you play school crack and then you're deflecting poem right it's kind of humorous comical even Plus five. Okay, nice. A point got demoralized. Interesting. I guess I'll keep this, but I hope I my top card is gonna be a mem knight, I guess. What do I think of Hero again Popper? I don't. And I hope to never have to. I hope I get to live my life without ever Commenting a thought to Lately hammer hands have been I'll keep this but yeah, it's evergreen for hammer. I Hope you didn't play one limited because that format is pile of garbage. Well, I played in the last PT Which was Phyrexia all will be one limited and I drafted a lot before it And I didn't mind it that much much like people it was faster, but I don't know like faster than doesn't I don't know. It just doesn't equate to me that faster equals bad. They took hammer on the paladin? That's crazy. I mean, I've had a relative amount of fun playing it. It's been okay. It's, it's been different than this one, and I enjoy that March of the Machine is a sizably different set than Pyrexia. All, all will be one. It's nice that there is some variety in Limited. One was fine, but I enjoyed this one way better. Yeah, I tend to to build slower decks and limited, and I tend to enjoy the slower decks and limited better, and I'm happier. Attacking, bro. I'm happier getting to play uh, longer games with Elishnor and, sim and similar. Will you fury me if I do that? Don't forget to play around Bolt if he has it. How do I play around Bolt? I might have forgotten. I could have activated Nexus and then... Well, I couldn't read Animate Nexus. I think I search it though, because if I Animate Nexus, this is a disaster in making possible if my opponent does like fury afterwards. I cannot afford not to make a construct with the second trigger. I need the I need that so you got my search, bro. I can't afford to lose a land and not be able to make a construct, that's gonna be too bad. But now I can make constructs. Paladin equip attack. Could also try to equip to the ink move, but I think making a construct is just better. Long term. Now we can tap, make hammer, play Stoneforge. Play planes, tap Stoneforge planes, Paladin, equip hammer, equip second hammer. We give them a card this way. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And we have two hammers. Hammer one equipped onto the construct, and the second hammer equipped to his stone forge, probably. For two big bros. Can try to draw with Paladin. The second hammer. Can fetch Shadow Spear with Stone Forge. Could make a hammer equip. Make a sec could make a construct equip hammer. Keep Stone Forge for the next turn. Do we need to give them a card? We don't. No, no, we don't. Next is too risky. I think next is un unnecessary. Just gonna give it get it killed, that's bad. But yeah, even if Paladin dies and Stoneforge getting a spear is good. I saw you collected four draft trophies, that's why I got five trophies yesterday. Haha. <laughs> okay, I, I am on my way to getting a fifth one. You motivated me. If they have a terminate effect. I think it's the best to make another construct and chill and not rush stuff. The Stoneforge is gonna be good in my hand still. Whether Paladin survives or not because of Shadow Spear. And I do this and then two removals to interact profitably. I think I do that because Fury, like, they didn't clearly didn't have a removal. That's so good, it's game one. Okay, they did have terminate like this. That makes sense, but it's good versus Fury. Do you think they have any equipment? Would be sick if they fetch Sword of Sinew and Steel. Black, 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 three black, four black. Ay, caramba. Well, that ended up medium. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Just fails to find equipment. Wow, cringe. Every Ragavan deck should play snow covered basics and equi and and equipment. Best time a ganja being used. If you play snow covered lens, you are a bottom. I prefer a term little bitch when referring to such individuals. According to my calculations, when equipment is optimal, yeah, yeah. What if you played Manriki Gusari in your main deck for those situations? That would be insane. Let's go. Is it even worth it to go to 61 cards for the equipment? Interesting. Probably not. Oh, the black sword from Kamigawa to pitch. Very nice. Very good suggestion. You played Search this weekend. It was useful versus Force of Vigor twice. Really Gucci. Yeah, it's nice. Do you prefer to go 0-1 into 3-1 or 3-0 into 3-1? Don't know. 3-3... Free, free, uh, well... Yeah, actually I know. I would prefer to lose the first one and then go free one because... Actually, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, one into free one is stress inducing. I think it gives you a relief because you are achieving something as we speak in real time and you're like, yeah, bro, I'm... I'm getting better as we speak in this tournament. I'm salvaging my initial failure of, of win with winning a game of Magic. Right, let's play around Fury Scam by going Cigar Dazade, Mem Knight. I'd like to think if you're playing an equipment in your Ragavan deck, you are playing 61. 61 equipments. If you make your deck infinitely big, you can include any tutor target. So, as the card pool is going to grow, if the power level is going to stay flat, placid, then it's gonna be better to play bigger and bigger decks for all the corner cases that your Ragavan skin can employ. 
can get sword, we can get Kaldra. They're at F6ing, let's get Kaldra. That means that if they want to Blood Moon, they can't. They need to kill the Stoneforge, okay. Nice. Blacksmith skill would be better here. Well, not necessarily. Be there's gonna be a spot later in the game where Surge would be awesome. Should I play Radiant Fountain or Calling Garden and Merc Titan in case I hit Titan of Monkey? Well, an infinite Merc Titan, you should play both. No wide up for the Surge. Oh, Pepija. Well, it's not Pepija. If they activate the explosives, I get to search for another one drop. So they activating explosives means trading a one drop for a one drop, effectively. What do I think about modern show and tell? Did I try that deck? I don't know what you're talking about. But lately, I've been transitioning from a meme streamer into a competitive streamer. So I actually just ignore the meme decks. I'm sorry. So I don't even look at them. I don't play with them. I just play Hammer and Prelims and that brings me more joy. Oof. Wrong saga, idiot. Go for extra damage with Enki? I could, but I can also play around Bolt with not using it. It seems close. Dramatic and Trans Traxa? Yeah, I mean, that sounds funny, but... Am I going to play Merktai? I might play... I might enter a Merktai Dark at some point. Is it round number four? Yeah. If I had a song request in the queue at the end of the last stream, does that mean it played today? Yes. Well, maybe it didn't play, but it was skewed to play today. Surprise, you don't do creativity anymore since you played that before and being a good deck. Well, so the thing is that I was... I just entered a hammer arc because I can't focus on multiple decks at the same time. That's like the thing. I might enter a creativity arc and in the following month, for example. But that's after I finish the hammer video and after I return from from uh, Minneapolis. I was thinking of a creativity arc, and then you know I can just play creativity over and over, and then. If I eventually make a video about that or something. Uh, seems worth saving. Is Salt within 75 cringe or cringe? It's just bad. But yeah, some people respond positively to deck arcs and I also... I, I also respond positively and it cures my depression, so it's good. If I play with different decks, I lose a lot, and when I lose a lot, since my self-worth is attached to my magic results, I feel really bad. So, uh, I go 3-1 with Hammer and a Prelim, and I feel like a god, and like I, my entire day is made. 